بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم University of the Man Deanship of E-Learning and Distance Learning College of Applied Studies and Community Service This is the English course and my name is Mazen al Kuwaiti and today we are back to study and learn English Today inshallah we will start with a new unit which is unit 2 and this is lecture number 7 ok before we start uh, just let me talk a little bit about the book uh, some students sent me some emails asking me about uh, the book is it necessary to buy the book or just follow and watch the lectures معظم الطلاب يعني بيتسألوا بيبعثوا لي ايميلات بيسألوا ان هل الكتاب ضروري او لا بصراحة هو الكتاب ضروري نوعا ما ولكن يعني معظم النقاط التي نحتاجها في الامتحان نناقشها في المحاضرات ممكن الكتاب ضروري الورك بوك فور اكسرسايزز but all, uh, all everything that is important everything necessary you can find it in the lectures يعني اذا اذا كان شراء الكتب عبء عليكم فلا تشتروهم ممكن متابعه المحاضرات ممكن يعني تقدم كل الافكار المطلوبه معنا فاذا تابعت المحاضرات اطلعتوا على المحتوى اللي من على المحاضرات سلايدات المحاضرات هذا بإذن الله كافي وما ما بتكونوا بحاجة الكتاب ولكن اللي عنده الكتاب شيء جيد ممكن يتابع بشكل أكبر يطلع على معلومات أكثر ممكن معلومات ما ذكرناها ولكن ممكن تكون له مفيدة الورك بوك ممكن يشتغل أكثر بالورك بوك في مور إكسرسايزز إن ذا ورك بوك تمارين أخرى إضافية ما بيتسع الوقت انه نقوم بحلها كلها ولكن نركز نحن اثناء المحاضرات على التمارين الاهم والممكن ان ان نتبع نمطها في الامتحان اوكي اي هوب اتس اتس كلير انذر بوينت نقطه ثانيه كونسيرنينج ذا فويس ذا فويس ذا فوليوم صوت المحاضره سو اف يو وونت تو هير ذا ليكتشر ويل you have to use a headset use a headset like this one so a, lo a lot of you sent me emails asking me the voice is not clear make the mic closer to your, vo to your mouth or make your voice higher actually the voice is very high the voice is good but you have to use a headset in order to listen to the lectures well قوموا باستخدام سماعات الرأس لسماع المحاضرات بشكل أفضل الصوت المحاضرات جيد انا طلعت على كل المحاضرات الصوت جيد ما في اي مشاكل وان شاء الله راح احاول انه ارف ارفع صوتي قدر الامكان اوكي now we are done with our little and small and short introduction now we can start with our lesson our lesson today as i said okay we will talk about unit 2 unit 2 the title of this unit the topic العنوان العريض interests interests okay what does it mean interests what are the goals of these uh, this unit we will talk about this later so let's read the objectives the goals so in this unit you will learn how to number one use different verb forms so we'll focus on verb forms أشكال الأفعال point number two use object pronouns and the pronouns everybody and nobody so we will talk about the pronouns and the specifically object pronouns point number three talk about your hobbies interests and taste uh, in general taste uh, about clothes taste in music taste in movies and so on point number four say no in a friendly way when we say no عندما نقول لا we have to say it in a friendly way بطريقة ودودة بطريقة لطيفة 
the last point, use really and not really. We would use those two expressions, th those two words, really, not really, affirmative and negative, to make statements stronger or softer. نستخدم هذين التعبيرين لزيادة من حدة الكلمات أو تخفيفها جعلها بشكل ألطف. Okay, so interests. What does it mean, interest? If you are interested in something, so interests mean الاهتمامات. The things that you like, the th things that you like to do, maybe. Okay, let's go and start with the first part of this unit. The first part of this unit. Lesson one, the title of lesson one, leisure time. If you have the book, you can go to page uh, in student book, student's book. You can go to page twelve. Lesson A, leisure time. What does it mean, leisure time? If you think about leisure time, when you have free time. وقت الفراغ leisure time the things that you do do your free time so free time you can say in this lesson what we will do you will learn or you learn how to use different verb forms so we'll focus on verb forms أشكال الأفعال okay before we start we need to learn some new vocabulary vocabulary that are necessary for us to understand some of the readings that we will do in this unit. The first vocabulary that we will focus on is hobby. Hobby is an activity which someone does for pleasure when they are not working. So when you have a free time, what do you do? Okay, for me, I watch TV. I uh, visit friends. I go to the beach. Maybe you have other hobbies. So, what to ask about a hobby? You might say, "What is your hobby?" or "What is your favorite hobby?" So, if you have an example, I like to fish as a hobby. To fish, it means to catch fish. And this is a picture. This is the guy who likes to fish as a hobby. The next vocab, the next vocabulary, the next new word that we will focus on now, novel. Novel is a long printed story about imaginary characters and events. هي قصة طويلة مطبوعة عن شخصيات وأحداث خيالية. So we call it in Arabic رواية. Okay, so if you have an example, historical uh, novels. And romantic novels, riwayat tarikhia, riwayat atifia, riwayat ijramia, and so on. And one of the example, Treasure Island. Treasure Island, as you can see, in this word, the S is silent. Island, Jazirat al Kanz, Treasure Island. Okay, the next vocab is sculpture. Sculpture. So here it's ch ch sculpture. So the art of forming solid objects that res represents a thing, a person, idea, etc., out of a material such as wood, clay, metal, or stone. هو عبارة عن فن. Sculpture is an art. فن تشكيل عناصر أو أشياء صلبة. تمثل أشي شيء أو شخص أو فكرة ونقوم بتكوين هذا هذه هذا الشيء أو هذا هذه المنحوتة من مواد مثل الخشب والصلصال والح والمعادن والحجر. So an example Tom teaches sculpture at the local art school. So sculpture in Arabic means نحت and this is one of the sculptures. It's a Leon Leon sculpture. So this sculpture represents. So the sculpture represents an animal. It represents a Leon. Okay. The next vocab. The next new word. Design or to design. Here it's a verb. Actually, you can use design as a verb and as a noun. You can use design. كفعل 
وكاسم وذلك بالاعتماد على السياق الجملي اوكي ذا ديفينيشن تعريف هذه الجمله او شرح هذه الجمله هذه الكلمه تو ميك اور تو درو بلانز فور سمثينج فور اكزامبل كلوز اور بيلدينجز سو تو ميك اور درو القيام بعمل او رسم بلانز مخططات لشيء for example clothes or buildings who designed this is an example who designed this building or who designed this dress or who designed this furniture so we can ask who designed this bed who designed this bed so here design is a verb or we can use it as a noun you can use it as a noun المثال التالي This bed has a nice design So this bed has a nice design Or you can say uh, when you are surprised what a, nice, what a nice design Okay, so again you can use design as a verb and as a noun Okay, we still have uh, uh, more words To jog, again we have a verb to run at a slow regular speed especially as a form of exercise so if you want to exercise if you want to lose some weight you can jog every day you can jog by the beach on the Cornish so jogging slow run slow running to run slowly so we can call it in Arabic Al-Adu Al-Adu or Al-Rakib al so uh, an example what do you do to keep fit what do you do to keep fit ماذا تفعل للحفاظ على لياقتك للحفاظ على رشاقتك للحفاظ على تناسق جسمك i jog and go swimming i jog and go swimming so those are group of men and they are jogging together they are exercising together okay now we are done with the new vocabulary now in lesson A we'll start and this is at the beginning of page 12 leisure time as we said it means free time so we have a piece of a newspaper an article taken from a newspaper مقال مأخوذ من صحيفة if I ask you what is the title of this newspaper what is the title of this newspaper? ما هو عنوان أو اسم هذه الصحيفة? The title is College News. College News. This is the title of the newspaper. Okay, here we have an introduction. مقدمة. Meet our new reporter for the College News. Meet our new reporter. Reporter means مراسل. Someone who brings the news. Someone who writes to someone who writes reports and send them and bring them to the newspaper to be published so here what we have we have questions and answers we have a th one two three four five questions and the questions are asked by college news أسئلة منطروحة من قبل الصحيفة ويرد عليها المراسل وهو Eric Kane Eric Kane this is the name of the reporter so what you have to do we have the questions on the top of the page we have four more questions the first one is done but let's first read the introduction the college of news interviewed Eric Kane our new reporter Eric is a full-time student majoring in journalism we asked him about his hobbies so the questions are about Eric Kane's hobbies they are asking him about his hobbies so let's read the first part so before we read the question let's read the answer so we should uh, make a question out of the answer علينا تشكيل سؤال من خلال الإجابة okay let's read the first part Eric Kane well I enjoy writing I like to do a bit of creative writing every day in the evenings, mostly, 
Someday I want to write a novel, but for now it's just a hobby. So, the question that we can ask if we after reading the answer is what are your hobbies? What are your hobbies? And we talked about this in your word before. If you don't remember this word, you can go back and see the meaning of this word. Okay. So, from the things, those are his hobbies. Writing is one of his hobbies. So, creative writing, again, it's related to writing. So, his hobby is writing. So, here, number two, we go down to number two. We'll read the answer, then we'll try to choose one of these questions. Let's see what else. So, what else? Well, I design cards. I'm good at uh, drawing. To draw, draw a picture. When you draw a picture. Drawing resume. I am really into computer graphics, so I sit and learn new programs and I play around with them. So they are asking about something else, other things. So which question do you think is appropriate for this answer? Let's read. Can you paint? Mm, I don't think so. Are you a good? Are you good at sports? Are you interested in learning new things? What else do you enjoy doing in your free time? So what else? What else? So for number two, I'm sorry, there is a mistake. So for number two, what else do you enjoy doing in your free time? So this is. This is the question for number two. Number three. Yeah, I draw and I can paint a little. So drawing and painting. Drawing, resin, painting, Talween. But not very well. I'd like to do sculpture or something. And I like to do clay modeling. But I really can't do it all. So, as you saw, مثل ما رأيتم عندما ظهر الخطأ. So number three is can you paint? Can you paint? Because he is talking about drawing and painting, drawing and painting. And for number two, what else do you enjoy doing in your free time? Okay, number four, not really, not really. I prefer to watch sports on TV. So he's talking about sports. I like to play pool. Pool it means billiards. Billiards is that a sport? So he's asking about pool. Is that sport? هل هي رياضة البلياردو? I guess I jog occasionally. Occasionally it means not always. Sometimes occasionally, but I hate going to the gym. I dislike. I don't like. going to the gym and working out. Working out, as you said in a previous lecture, working out means to exercise, exercising. So, here he is talking about the sports. So, which one? We still have two. Are you interested in learning new things? Are you good at sports? So, this is the one because uh, the topic of this question is sports. So, are you good at sports? The last one, let's read We still have one, but let's read the answer first. Yeah, I love to go to do new stuff all the time, learning new skills. You know, I'm really excited about writing for the college news. Okay, so the last one is, are you interested in learning new things? So, I love to do new stuff. New stuff, stuff means things. So... Here, uh, this is the end of this reading and the end of this exercise, matching or making questions or choosing the correct question for each answer. Okay. If you don't know the meanings of some of these words, you can go and use your dictionary to look up the meanings of those words. The next the slide, in the next the slide, we will talk about an exercise 
So can you complete these sentences with verbs? Let's see the sentences. Okay, let's see the sentences. So you have to use those verbs. We have the verbs. But what should you do? Should you use the verb as itself? Or add ing? Or add to before the verb? هاي عليكم ترك الفعل على حاله. تركي بحالة الفعل الأصلية على حالة الجزر جزر الفعل بدون أي إضافات أو إضافة ing إلى نهاية الفعل أو إضافة to قبل الفعل. So think about this, those sentences before you answer. Let me read. I can space pool. The verb is play. I like space. Sports on TV, the verb is watch. I enjoy space books, the verb is read. I'm good, I'm not good at space, new computer programs, and the verb is learn. So think about the answers base verb, jizral fal, ing form. بإضافة ing شكل ال بشكل الإضافة ال ing إلى الفعل or add to before the verb بإضافة to قبل الفعل. So should you say I can to play or I can playing or I can play? If you have the answer, let's see my answer. I can play ball. I can play pool. I can play billiards. So we will talk wha uh, uh, about the reason why did I choose play without ing or without to. سنتحدث عن سبب اختيارنا للفعل أو جزر الفعل بدون إضافات later. Okay, number two. I like to watch sports on TV or watching sports on TV. Or watch sports on TV. My answer, we have two possible answers. You can say I like to watch and I like watching sports on TV. Number th three, I enjoy space books. I enjoy read books. I enjoy to read books or I enjoy reading. Your answer, think about it and let's see my answer. So I enjoy reading. Only uh, the one possible answer. I enjoy reading. The last one, number four. I'm not good at space, new computer programs. So I'm not good at learn. I'm not good at learning or I'm not good at to learn. The answer is learning. The answer is learning. But maybe you are asking yourselves, why? ما هو السبب لاختيارنا uh, الفعل في حالة الجزر أو الفعل بإضافة ing أو بإضافة to قبل الفعل. We have some rules for that. عندنا عندنا بعض القواعد لهذا الموضوع. But before we talk about all of them, let's talk about can. Let's talk about can. This model auxiliary verb. Can is an auxiliary verb هو فعل مساعد we can call it modal auxiliary verb we use can too what are the uses of can ما هي استخدامات هذا الفعل المساعد number one to talk about possibility and ability للحديث عن الإمكانية والإحتمالية possibility إمكانية إحتمالية ability القدرة if you can do something or if something is possible number two to make requests to make kind requests لتشكيل طلبات أو لطرح طلبات بشكل بأسلوب ودي أو بشكل لطيف make requests or make friendly requests number three to ask for or give permission to ask for permission لطلب uh, تصريح أو لطلب uh, السماح أو لإعطاء أو للسماح بشكل إذا نستخدمه لطلب أو لإعطاء السماح أو الصلاحية. Okay, 
structure of can كيفية تركيب تركيبة جملة التي تحتوي على فعل can let's see we start with the subject this is affirmative sentence جملة في حالة الإثبات subject like I, he, she, Ahmed, John, Clark, Mary, Sarah whatever subject that we have can then the uh, auxiliary verb then the main verb okay and what we mean by the main verb here we have the base verb so after can we use base verb بعد الفعل المساعد can نستخدم الفعل في حالة الجزر الجزر الأصلي للفعل بدون أي إضافات بدون إضافة ing بدون إضافة to بدون إضافة أي شيء للفعل في الحالة الأصلية so let's see some examples so here you have the subjects here we have the auxiliary verb the main verb let's start with the first one affirmative sentence جملة في حالة الإثبات I can play tennis I can play tennis so subject auxiliary verb main verb the complement بقية الجملة he ok here before we start it's a negative sentence he can or uh, he cannot or he can't he cannot or he can't two uh, ways one of the regular way الطريقة العادية one with a contraction contraction form I can't uh, he can cannot or he can't play tennis this is one of affirmative one of them the other one is negative the third form a question so in the case of question as we do always we switch the places of the uh, auxiliary verb and the subject so can you play tennis can you play tennis so the auxiliary verb we moved it to the first place and we moved the subject to the second place okay so again بعد الفعل المساعد كان لا تستخدم إلا الجزر الأصلي للفعل لا تستخدموا أي صيغة أخرى من الأفعال. Okay, so the main verb is always the ba infinitive, infinitive, infinitive without to. We cannot say, for example, I can't to play tennis. This is wrong. Don't say that. So you say I can't play tennis. So infinitive, what does it mean infinitive? Infinitive when we add to before the verb. For example, to play, to write, to sleep, to drink, and so on. So this is called infinitive when we add to uh, before the verb. Use of can or uses of can. The first use, as we said, possibility and ability. Possibility and ability. Let's see some of the examples. He can drive a car, so he is able to drive a car. So he can drive a car. Again, as you can see here, the verb is the base verb. The base verb. No ing, no to, no nothing. John can speak Spanish. So he can speak it. He is able to speak Spanish. I cannot hear you. I'm not able to hear you. So, here, or you can use the contraction form, I can't hear you. So, here again, it's a power of an ability. A question. So, the first two were affirmative sentences. Negative sentence. A question. Can you hear me? Again, the verb or the main verb is in the base form. The base form. Use number two can we can use it for requests and orders requests and orders so can you make a cup of coffee please can you make a cup of coffee please so this is a request we can say a friendly request talab widdi so can you make a cup of coffee هل يمكنك تحضير فنجان من القهوة من فضلك so when we add please it's friendly kind another request or an order can you put the TV on can you put it 
on or can you switch the TV on another request or another order can you come here a minute so come here a minute can you come here a minute it's an order can you be quiet so maybe in the class one of the uh, two classmates or two students are talking to each other so the teacher says can you be quiet so this is an order this is an order it's not nice not kind can you be quiet so it's an order the third use for permissions can I smoke in this room of course you can't you can't smoke here but you can smoke in the garden so again here we are asking for permission do you give me the permission to smoke in this room no I don't give you the permission to smoke in this room but I give you the permission to smoke in the garden okay so most important point about can after can the main verb is the base form of the verb الفعل or جزر الفعل حالة الفعل بدون أي إضافة بشكل الفعل بدون أي إضافات okay I hope it's clear because this is a very important point that you need to understand okay now we will talk about verb forms verb forms let's talk about the first one the first one we talk about it actually can or can't plus the verb الجملة التي تحتوي على كان أو كان في حالة الإثبات أو في حالة النفي the verb only the verb we use it بعد الفعل المساعد نستخدم فعل في حالة الأصلية في الحالة الأصلية للفعل so I can't play the piano I can't play very well I can't sing at all so all of them with verb no addition لا يوجد أي إضافة للفعل the second form الشكل الثاني من الأفعال to plus verb this is called infinitive infinitive so as you can see here we have two verbs عندما يكون عند لدينا فعلين في الجملة we have to do something okay so what we do sometimes we add to so here I love to swim I like to play pool I hate to work out I prefer to watch TV I'd like to play jazz okay let's start with one by one so here as you can notice after love we used to I love to swim I love to read I love to eat I love to sleep so after love we can use we can use to and after to the verb is the base form in the base form the base verb no ing just to before it so I like to play pool I hate to work out so hate is the opposite of like and love hate here تحمل عكس المعنى الموجود في like and love I prefer to watch TV I prefer it means I prefer to do something instead of something else أفضل أفضل مشاهدة التلفاز I prefer to watch TV I prefer to play basketball I prefer to sleep early okay the last one I'd like to play jazz I'd like is a, a contraction form it's a contraction form for I would like I would like I would like we can use it to say I want it has the same meaning of I want but in a polite way for example if you are in a restaurant and the waitress comes to you and he asks you what would you like to have for lunch so he doesn't say what do you want no it's very rude يعني تعد want كلمة غير ودية so instead of want we use would like or I'd like 
So when you want to ask the waitress for food, you can say, I'd like to have uh, kapsa for lunch. So I'd like. It means I want, but in a polite way, in a friendly way. So after we'd like also to. So after like to, after love to, after hate to, prefer to, I'd like to. So you can repeat reading those expressions till you memorize. After love, always to. I love to. I like to. I hate to. I prefer to. I'd like to. So you can add after love, like hate, prefer, and I'd like. You can add to. So this is called infinitive. Again, to plus the main verb. Plus, uh, I mean, the base form of the verb. The third point preposition plus verb plus ing so if we have a preposition in the sentence so after the preposition if we need to use a verb is again علينا استخدام فعل بعد حرف جر after a preposition you should add ing to the verb عليكم اضافة ing الى الفعل اذا قمنا باضافة ال ing الى الفعل في هذه الحالة Okay, if we read the example, I'm good at drawing people. أنا جيد في رسم الأشخاص. So here, drawing is not a verb anymore. عند إضافة ال ing في هذه الحالة في هذه الحالة الخاصة after preposition, it becomes something called gerund. Gerund. What is a gerund? We use gerunds to talk about activities. نستخدم ما يسمى ب gerunds للحديث عن النشاطات like swimming, reading, walking, uh, hiking, playing all of these are activities إذا نستخدم الجرند ما يسمى بالجرند نستخدمه بصفته اسما so we can use it as a noun we can use it as a noun when we add ing to a verb we can use it as a noun يمكننا استخدام أي فعل كاسم عند إضافة ال ing إليه another example I'm not interested in skiing أنا لست مهتما بالتزلج so I'm not interested in skiing again here we have a preposition at here another preposition with it which is in and after the preposition we have verb plus ing ing okay the fourth point the fourth point after some verbs sometimes we use ing so if you have a look at those verbs oops what we have almost they are the same so they are almost the same love love like like hate hate prefer prefer okay stop I would like is different I enjoy so here the thing is the idea is that you can use after love you can use to swim or swimming so after love you can use to plus verb or verb plus ing إذا عندكم الخيار بعد بعد الأفعال يمكنكم الاختيار إما infinitive to plus verb to بالإضافة إلى الفعل أو اختيار صيغة ال ing للفعل وهي الجرند ما يسمى بالجرند so I love swimming or I love to swim both have both sentences have the same meaning كلاهما يحمل نفس المعنى وكلاهما صحيح I like playing pool I like to play pool the same the same meaning I hate to work out. I hate working out. So we added ing to the verb. I prefer to watch TV or I prefer watching TV. Again, the same. The same idea. But concerning the last one, after I would like to, we use only to. Bada, I uh, would like or I would like or I'd like, we use to plus verb we use infinitive بعد I'd like or I would like نستخدم to بالإضافة إلى الفعل ولكن بعد الفعل enjoy 
enjoy only we have ing form نستخدم صيغة ال ing بعد الفعل enjoy okay I hope the those verb forms are clear so those are the verb forms that we have in this slide we have one more idea that we need to say so I like plus two plus verb or I like plus verb plus ing which ones are more common أيها أيها شائعة أكثر في اللغة الإنجليزية so here we have st statistics عندنا بعض الإحصائيات it's called statistics so like to is more common than I like plus ing so I like to play pool is more common than I like playing pool نستخدم في اللغة الإنجليزية I like to play pool بشكل أكبر فهي شائعة أكثر من I like playing pool so I like to is more common شائعة أكثر what about love which one is more common of course I love to I love to is more common so I love to swim is more common than I love swimming the last one I hate to again is more common I hate to work out is more common than I hate working out so uh, to plus verb is more common than the ing form هي شائعة أكثر من الصيغة uh, الرابعة الصيغة الثانية باستخدام to plus verb هي شائعة أكثر من الصيغة باستخدام الفعل بإضافة ing ok I hope the, uh, those verb forms are clear now what we can do actually we can do a nice exercise a very nice exercise okay let's see the sentences okay we have eight sentences we have the verbs and you have to find the answer or to complete the sentences complete the questions that we have and you have to choose the right form you have to choose the right verb form for those for uh, the, the sentences or the questions that we have here okay what I want need you to do now you can stop the video you can pause it and do the exercise after that we can come back and uh, check your answers so pause the video stop it two minutes are enough you can have the answers in two minutes or even one minute it's up to you okay now stop and then we can come back okay we are back to check the answers for this exercise so the first one it's a question it starts with can so can you speak or to speak or speaking after can we said that we use base form we add nothing we don't add anything so can you speak Spanish number two do you enjoy so after enjoy what do we use if you don't remember you can go back and check the grammar so after enjoy we say do you enjoy cooking so after enjoy only add a verb form with ing so do you enjoy cooking هل تستمتع number three are you good at skating because we said after the preposition after preposition we have a preposition which is at after prepositions we use ing form number four do you like table tennis so what is the answer after like do you like we have two possible answers the first one I uh, do you like to play or do you like playing the question is which one is more common which one is more common the more co the co the mo most common one is to play is to play so do you like to play table tennis or do you like ta playing table tennis both sentences have the same meaning can you to speak
swim, swimming or swim. As we said earlier in number one, after can we use base form? Can you swim? هل تستطيع السباحة? Number six, are you interested in an exercise class? So, are you interested in joining an exercise class? So, here joining after preposition we use ing form. Number seven. Do you prefer, so after prefer, what do we use? To exercise, exercising or exercise by itself? The answer, do you prefer to exercise or do you prefer exercising alone or with the friends? هل تفضل أن تتمرن بمفردك أو مع أصدقائك? The last one, would you like after would like would like learn a new sport so would you like to learn a new sport as we said after would like would like we use infinitive we use to plus the verb to plus the verb okay I hope you understood the exercise all of it is easy it's not difficult I hope in the next slide, we have something very interesting. We have four words that we use to talk about things that we like and things that we don't like. So, here we have I love, I like, I don't care, I can't stand. So, here, zero percent of interest صفر بالمئة من الاهتمام there is no interest لا يوجد اهتمام مطلقا so we say I can't understand so if we go this way it goes up and up and up tills, till it reach, reaches I love I love is 100% of interest it means you are interested in it very much so you can say I love playing football I like playing football. I don't care about playing football. I can't stand the playing football. So here, if you are not interested in an activity, you say I can't understand. If you are in the middle between, you don't care. You you can use I don't care. If you like a little, uh, you you like it, or you like it very much, which means that I love. Let's have some examples. I can't stand washing dishes. لا أطيق جلي الأواني أو تنظيف الأواني. Number two, I don't care about music. I don't care. It doesn't matter. لا يهمني أمر الموسيقى ولا تهمني الموسيقى. Number three, example number three, I like to watch movies. So I like the the percent the percentage of interest is going. Up and up. So the last one, I love. I love. It means I like very much. I love going to the beach. I love going to the beach. So those are the words that you can use to talk about things that you like and things that you dislike. In the next slide, we have an exercise from the workbook. From the workbook. So if you have the workbook. You can go to page ten. Use ben, uh, 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 page ten from the workbook. So, go to the workbook, page ten. If you don't have the book, you can watch the v this video and continue with me. So, here, what you have to do: complete the sentences. We have sentences here. We have uh, six sentences, four in this slide and two others uh, in the next slide. Use the correct forms of the verbs in the box. عندنا أفعال في الصندوق علينا استخدام الشكل الصحيح من هذه الأفعال. Let's see the example in the first part of this exercise. Pam and Victoria, those are two girls, Pam and Victoria, aren't interested in reading. So here we used read and we added ing to it. Because we have a preposition. عندنا حرف جاد قبل الفعل. So we add ing. So they are not 
or aren't is interested in reading books, they both prefer to read. They prefer to read magazines. They really enjoy reading. They enjoy reading fashion magazi magazines. يستمتعون حقا بقراءة مجلات الموضة. Okay, number two. Number two, look at the picture. We have Ian. This guy, the guy is called Ian. He's working out at the gym. He's working out at the gym. So Ian would like to after like. What do we use? Yes, that's right. We use to exercise or Ian would like. Okay, you can't say anything else. Ian would like because we have would like would like. He would like to exercise every day. He doesn't like here. He doesn't like. We have only like here as a as a verb. So he doesn't like exercising, or he doesn't like to exercise. You can use both ways, as we said earlier. The last one. He enjoys at home with a video. So he enjoys after enjoy. We said we use. ING form. So he enjoys exercising. He enjoys exercising. Number three. Sunhi, this gay girl in the picture, Sunhi can't now. She's interested in and would like to take a class. So which word do you think is good for number three? Cook. She is not cooking. Draw? No, she is not drawing. Play? No, she is not playing. Read? She is not reading. Work out? She is not working out. But she maybe can't do sculpture. So, son, he can't do sculpture as we said. The main verb is in its uh, original form, in the base form. So, Sunhi cannot or can't do sculptures. Now, she is interested in doing sculptures and would like to take a class. So, we used ing form for the verb because we have a preposition before it. Number four, Tom isn't good at. So, which one? It's obvious that he is drawing a horse so Tom isn't good at drawing people he can't after can't or after can we said that we use the base for uh, the base uh, uh, form of the verb so he can't draw people at all but he can after can again draw so he can't draw animals very well Okay, we still have two more, two more, two more uh, verbs. One of them is work out. The other one is play, is play. So if we go to the next page, keep those uh, two words in your mind, work out, draws. We go to the next page, go to the next uh, slide. As you can see, we have two more uh, items that we need to do. So Amy and Sally usually space but they hate space Italian food, they prefer Chinese food. So this is uh, 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 another item that we need to complete. So Amy and Sally usually like, after like we said we can use to cook or uh, Amy and Sally usually like cooking but they hate cooking or they hate to cook Italian food they prefer after prefer we said we can use to cook or cooking so they prefer to cook Chinese food or they prefer cooking Chinese food the last item Erica which is here in the picture Erica can't we still have one verb which is play after can't we use play we Erica can't play tennis very well 
she enjoys after enjoy we said we used ing form that's right she enjoys playing tennis but she is not very good at playing because we have a preposition again here so that's it for this exercise let's move to the next uh, slide now we are done with lesson A we are done with lesson A now we will start with lesson B lesson B if you have the book you can find it on page 14 page 14 of the students book so books we will talk about the vocabulary that we can use to talk about books the objective the goal of this lesson in this lesson you learn how to use object pronouns object pronouns so we'll talk about pronouns and the pronouns everybody and nobody when to use everybody when do you use nobody and how to use them in the correct form okay before we start let's learn some new vocabulary about books if we are talking about a crime crime so what does it mean illegal activities illegal activities means نشاطات غير قانونية crime so if we have illegal activities it means crime جريمة أو جرم crime so he has admitted he said he said yes he admitted a tarafa he admitted committing a tarafa vertikab admitted committing several crimes several it, mean, it means many many a lot of crimes including two murders murder it means when you kill someone when you kill someone sharimat qatl including two murders so he has killed two people okay the picture related a crime he committed the crime of stealing money so stealing money stealing as this guy is doing here stealing money is a crime so stealing money is a crime the next vocabulary that we have boy poetry poetry bones in general as a form of literature poetry when you write poetry when you write uh, uh, lines of poetry lines of uh, rhymed uh, sentences for example uh, she started writing poetry at a young age poetry means a share poems قصائد. poetry again share poems okay the text itself al qasida poet poet p o e t is the person who writes poetry okay so here we can see in the picture one guy is reading a romantic poetry to his wife okay so the next a new word biography biography what is a biography it is the life story of a person written by someone else for example let's see the example here he wrote a bi biography of Winston Churchill so somebody wrote the life story of Winston Churchill هي قصة حياة شخص ما ولكن تمت كتابتها من قبل شخص آخر ليس من قبل الشخص نفسه so we call it biography if the same person talks about his own life عندما يتحدث الشخص عن ذاته يكتب قصة حياته we call it autobiography autobiography so uh, here we have the question uh, the uh, example the example picture the Steve Jobs Steve Jobs the life story of Steve Jobs the one who uh, invented and came out with the idea of iPhone iPad uh, is and this biography is written by Walter Isaacson Walter Isaacson. So the writer is not Steve Jobs. The writer is someone else. Someone called Walter Isaacson. 
the next new word mystery so if we have a mystery film a book or a play play here when we use it as a noun and when we use the word play as a noun المسرح play أو مسرحية مسرحية theater هو المسرح play مسرحية so a book كتاب a film or a play especially about a crime or a murder or a murder so with a surprise ending which explains all the strange events that have happened okay so mystery we can use it for books films or plays so here aflam aw kutub al ithara wal ghumud okay it has a surprising ending nihaya mufajia which explains all the strange events wa ya tashrah jami' al ahdath al gharibah allati hadathat khilal hadhi al qissa aw al film aw al masrahia so i really enjoy murder mysteries okay murder mysteries they might be films or books or plays so the Zin Man the Zin Man is one of the mystery books one of the mystery books or one of the mysteries the next vocabulary that we will learn today is science so knowledge from science we have different types of sciences so the systematic study of structure and behavior of the physical world so we are Adirasa المنظمة لبنية وتصرف أو طبيعة العالم المادي أو الفيزيائي. So science, the example, the recent developments in science and technology. The recent it means the latest, the new developments. And this is a picture of a crazy scientist. So this person is called scientist. And he is studying a branch of science, one type of science. Now, books. We will talk about different types of books, different types of books. So, as you can see, we have a crime stories, crime stories. As you can see here, we can see someone who is committing a crime of a stealing painting. He is stealing a painting from maybe a museum. من متحف. So stolen paintings, اللوحات المسروقة. It's one of the crime stories. Poetry. So rhyme and reason. Biographies. Russell Barker. Russell Barker. It's about birth to death. من المولد حتى الممات. Birth to death. So it's about somebody called. It's called Russell Parker. This is a biography. The next one, Mysteries, Mary Mack. This is the name of this novel, Mary Mack. The next type of books, we call it science fiction. Science fiction. Al Khayal Al Ilmi. Science fiction. When you have imaginary characters, super characters, like uh, aliens, Fadain, uh, Star Wars, okay, Stars War, and so on. The next one, history books, talking about history, events in the past, Ahdath, Jarad Fil Madi. So we call it history books. One soldier survives, so it's about war, about war, Hawla Al Harb. Here we have. Charlotte's Three, Charlotte, Charlotte. Here it's a novel, a novel, Riwaya, novel, which is called Charlotte's Three. The last type that we have, the last type of books that we have, travel books, travel books. When you want to go to another place, to a new place, a place that you know you don't know, so you buy, so you buy, you go to maybe to a real bookstore. And you buy uh, travel books, Kutub al Safar, or Kutub uh, Dalil al Safar, so we can call it. So, hiking uh, through France. Hiking through France. So, if you are going to France, maybe you can buy one of these 
books. So those are all the types of books that we have in the book. So here, if you remember those expressions that we talked about to express interest in something whether you are interested in it, you can use love or like. If you don't care, if you don't uh, hate it, you don't like it, you can say I don't care. If you hate it, if you dislike it, you can say I can't stand. So here you can use and you can make sentences. Uh, you can make sentences using those expressions. So maybe you can say I love crime stories. Here this is a full sentence. Okay, and maybe you can respond to it. Yeah, I do too. It means I love crime stories too. And I love mysteries. So you can uh, do and fill in the table. So if you love something else, for example, for me, I love history books. I like science fiction. I don't care uh, for uh, travel books. I can't stand uh, biographies. So it's up to you. You can choose whatever you want and put them under each field which is appropriate for you. Okay, so again we have crime stories, poetry, biographies, mysteries, science fiction, history books, novel, novels, travel books, and so all of them are called books and they are types of books. So you can make sentences about those books use try to use those expressions I love I like I don't care I can't stand and so on so you can make full sentences using those expressions again the level of uh, or the degree of interest is going up this way no interest at all okay here you don't care okay you don't like you don't dislike here the level of interest is going up I like here the level of interest is going up I like here the level of interest is 100% it means that you like something a lot okay I hope uh, those uh, are uh, the, the types of books are clear for you they are they are the meanings of those uh, types are clear also and now we can go to the next uh, slide so the last thing that we will talk about today we will talk about something related to stress and intonation stress and intonation if you remember we talked about it maybe uh, in one of the first lectures so how to say lists how to say lists what does it mean list for example here we have Sam, Sam, I like a classic, a classical and hip hop and jazz. For example, I like banana, apples and oranges. So this is called a list. When you have a lot of things together that you want to say. So how to say list? When we say I like, uh, for example, I like uh, swimming, reading, writing, watching TV, and uh, playing football. So this is called a list. So how to say it? The way to say this uh, this type of list is, if you remember, the rising intonation when you raise your voice and the Okay, so I like a classical and hip hop and jazz. So at the beginning of the list, when you see, when you say, when you pronounce, when you say each item, and the manakul kul ansar. Okay, what we do? We raise our voice. نرفع من صوتنا. ولكن عند آخر ansar, before we say and, so I like classical and hip hop and jazz. So we go down, the voice goes down. If you have your books, if you go to your books, we have another example of the book which is on page 
14 Sam he's talking Sam is talking about himself I like biographies crime stories and science fiction so at the end your voice goes down your voice goes down when you say saying items it goes up it goes up when you reach the final one and the آخر عنصر من هذا السرد Okay, we have a falling, falling voice. It goes down. So it goes up, then it goes down. And jazz. So it goes up, then it goes down. Okay, so this is what we call stress and intonation. We talked about it in a previous lecture, and again, here we talk about it. Okay, so before we finish our lecture, let me remind you about what we did today. Today we started with unit 2 unit 2 in the book it's on page 11 the title of this unit interests okay interests things that you like so we talked about uh, we did some exercise about the college news we matched some questions with the answers we uh, found the questions from reading the answers then we talked about verb forms verb forms أشكال الأفعال we talked about that after can we use the base form of the verb بعد كان الفعل كان الفعل مساعد كان نستخدم جزر الفعل okay after some verbs we can use infinitive or ing form forms so قلنا أن بعد بعض الأفعال for example like love prefer and so on we can use to swim or swimming we can use infinitive can استخدام to بالإضافة إلى الفعل أو بالممكن استخدام صيغة ing the uh, also after prepositions بعد أحرف الجر we use ing form we use ing form okay so we talked about this and then we started with lesson p lesson p which is on page 14 we talked about the types of books and the vocabulary that we need to talk about books and the last thing that we talked about we talked about the intonation and stress so this is the end of lecture 7 I hope that you have understood all the important ideas in this lecture I hope also that you have enjoyed the lecture with me today so till I see you next time take care and study hard and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh